just pulled up at um, Dunmara Wayside Inn. Um, it's on the way, heading back to on our way back to Queensland now, um, and we're gonna get this car fixed. So um, yeah, we're shooting back there to see it for for the night, and um, yeah, we'll keep keep on uh, pushing pushing through. But not a bad little spot to um, pull up to for the night. Just yeah. park it up and um, yeah, it's one head of, off in the morning. One of the camps. There's one of the very few camps. Um, down this road that has four bars of 4G. Yeah, so it's got really good service. Um, so if that's, if that's what you're chasing. Um, but yeah, just gonna have an easy night in and um, hit the road early, I think. Yeah, meantime, cheers. Alrighty, so we are on day two. Yeah, I'm gonna track back to Queensland. Queensland so. We don't know where we're pulling up tonight. Uh, we're heading towards Barclay, so if we stop at Barclay, we stop there, or we might grab a free camp. Um, just gonna keep tracking. We've got about a week to get to Mackay to get this damage fixed from the kangaroo. Yeah. Um, gosh, I'm trying to hold this still, the roads are bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we want to touch base because we have just thrown an overboost on the car. Yeah. Is that what we call it? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, like the roads back to, to Queensland, it's like really hot at the moment, it's like 42 degrees, um, so the cars are working. Um, but yeah, we run a little scan gauge in the D-Max, um, a bit of handy equipment, um, because we, we just thrown an overboost code in, yeah, the engine light come up and it went, went into limp mode, so um, we're able to pull over, check all the car out, make sure everything was all good, which it was, um, which is obviously working, it's hot. Um, and yeah, so we just cleared, cleared, cleared the code um, and we're on our way again, so like nothing ever happened. So yeah. we didn't have that, if we didn't have that in it, um, it'd be a very slow trip back to um, you know, Queensland. So, um, and we're in the middle you know, of nowhere, we don't have service. So there's heaps you can do with them as well. Yeah. Um, you know, automatic transmission temperature there, EGTs, um, your coolant water temp there, um, RPMs. You can, there's so much you can do with them. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by these guys at all. <laughs> We're not sponsored um, by anyone. Anyone. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just think it's a good, good product to have because yeah, it's the first time I've used it. It's handy. Yeah. Like we get asked all the time how the D Max runs, like with temperature. Yeah. This is how we know it's not going up and down in yeah. temperature. Um, it just lets you monitor your car, really. Yeah. So um. But one thing we're thinking about now is a boost gauge. Yeah. So you can you can uh, put a code in these to register your boost but um, I don't think it will do it with this this car so um, it might have to be something we um, look into next but yeah. Yeah anyway we're gonna keep the long drive back to Queensland uh, yeah we've got a couple of really big days ahead of us uh, but at least the car's getting fixed we called around a lot of places before we could get here and everyone was telling us like two months hey yeah um, so yeah I am still crawling over to the driver's side to get out of here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a mission, but um, we've got a big stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's what, it is what it is. Anyway, we'll see you in the next stop. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just uh, crossed the um, Queensland border. We're about to. The sign's just there. Right there. We're eating flies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're coming home. Oh, yeah. So we're making, <laughs> we're making some ground. <laughs> and it's been such a straight road. So long, so straight. And it's hot and dry, but <laughs> hello Queensland. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just put up at Mary Kathleen for the night. Um, and Shantel's on a mission. There's cows around, so she wants to feed the cows. Haven't even set up camp yet, but she's on a mission. <laughs> oh dear. This is crazy. Hey? Yeah, we'll run away from you. No, no, look, there's a baby. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're gonna kick by a cow. I don't want to go near the baby now. I didn't know there was a little baby. Oh, look how tiny it is.
Alrighty, so we just pulled up at um, McCrossens Park um, at Burdekin River. It's a little free camp here, about 20 minutes out of um, uh, Charters Towers. So it's not a bad little spot. It's got uh, toilets and all the stuff you need here. So um, Yeah, we just pulled up about, what, five o'clock yesterday, Arvo? Yeah. So we did about eight hours driving from Mary Kathleen to here. Oh, eight and a half, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice long day. And today we're heading off and we're not too sure where. No. We'll have to see where we pull up for the night, but yeah. um, yeah, we're nearly nearly at Mackay, so um, just keep driving until we get there, I guess. But yeah, yeah. we've kind of had to come back in the peak of school holidays too, which makes it a bit expensive and difficult. Yeah, so um, but yeah, just keep that in mind, I guess. Joys of traveling. Yes. But anyway, we'll keep on. Um, keep it on. <laughs> keep driving and um, see where we pull up tonight. Soldiers going bush. <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> We decided to venture out to Cape Hillsborough for a little bit. Uh, we've been stuck in the van for about two weeks now, just waiting <laughs> around and getting the getting the ute sorted, getting that fixed. So um, mm. yeah, we decided to venture off down here. Just have a quick look. Um, it's not too bad. It's not amazing though. <laughs> it's not amazing. Just being oh, honest. <laughs> look, we'll be honest. It smells today, um, and the ground. If you show them, it's not actually nice sandy beach like. I guess all the Instagram photos show you. Yeah, this is um, this is reality. <laughs> uh, the water's like coming in dirty, I guess because of the mud, and we're getting bitten by mozzies. <laughs> midges, midges. Midges. Uh, so we're gonna head over to the island over there because the tide is out from the looks of it, and see if we can get over there without getting stuck. Um, and hopefully it's a bit nicer. Yeah. Anyway, and we'll send the drone up so you can get a bit of a uh, an aerial look at it. Yeah, but like, you know, this stuff's all cool with all the texture and whatnot, but... Yeah, it's definitely worth checking out, but... It's just not what we expected. I guess you, you, you see those pictures and think it's all hyped up, and mm. I think this is one of those places. It's still nice to come check out, but yeah, I don't know. It stinks a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's because it's, maybe it's been really windy. Like yeah. some places, I know... Tidy's out, but... Yeah, it can be a bit windy and smelly, but I don't know. It's, have you been here? Was it stinky when you were here? <laughs> <laughs> right, um, let's get the drone up. Yeah. So we made our way over to the two islands. Yeah, so if you come out on the beach and hook a right and come right around the bend here, you end up on this point. And yeah. then on that island just behind us there, there's an actual water hole, like a uh, rock pool. You can go for a swim in. I think you have to... We got out of here. I think the tide's coming in at the moment, but... We can't get over it at the moment, but if yeah. you swam over, you could have a really good swim over there, I reckon. I just sent the drone up and... Yeah, we'll show you on the good, drone. Eh? So, from what I don't know, it's best to get over there when it's really low tide. Mm. Um, it looks cool, but here is much nicer. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't smell, it's not muddy, it is very rocky though, as you can see. Yeah. Um, it does get better. So it does get better if you walk around the other side away from the main beach. Hey guys, we're at uh, Yungler Dam uh, for a couple of nights.
decided to venture out from the caravan. Our car's currently getting fixed, as you would know. We're zipping around in this the big blue at the moment. Yeah, see our big blue there? <laughs> yep, she's a, a nifty piece of machinery. Um, we're carrying absolutely nothing. Nah, so you don't realise how much you miss your gear until it's not there. So um, <laughs> hopefully get our gear back real soon. But um, we're a bit fine for resources, so we're going to whip up a, um, a damper. It's going to be like a dessert damper. I don't know what you call it. We're going to have like jam, Tim Tams, and it's going to be like a real sweet, sweet damper. So um, it's an experiment. It's going to be an experiment. It's going to turn out really good or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway. Like I said, a bit thin for resources, so I'm going to use a um, just a camping oven to mix everything up in. Um, but yeah, so what it is, self-raising flour, a bit of jam, um, caster sugar, got a bit of salt in there as well, and uh, yeah, as I said, jam, and then um, we're going really to be putting uh, Tim Tams through it as well. So I'm going to lay it out, spread the jam on it, and um, Crush yeah, Tim Tams. Crush Tim Tams. See how it goes. Um, let's ha make it happen. All right, let's get stuck into it. All right, in goes the flour. Hmm. Not even going to measure it because you can't really get damper wrong. If it's too wet, add more flour. If it's too dry, add more water. I can add a little bit more. Yeah, we've got a few mouths to feed. So. Yeah. Right, I can start off with that. There Maybe you use a whole lot. We've got a spare one in there. That's going to be huge. Oh, okay, okay, that'll do. <laughs> All right. Trying to feed everybody. Bit of flour, bit of water. That'll do for now. Your caster sugar? Uh, caster sugar. So, around about, say, a tablespoon? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. That's more than a tablespoon. That's, that's a healthy amount there. <laughs> There's a heaped tablespoon. Alright, and just start mixing it in. Oh, and your salt before you get too carried. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Lucky the camera girl's on it. Lucky the camera girl's on it. I don't know, just a real good pinch of salt. Voila. Like that. Just mix it in. Alrighty, so that's what it should look like. That's so not wet. It's just that nice, firm, dry damper. Mm. Righto. So next step will be lay some bacon paper out on the table. Righto. Now we obviously don't have a rolling pin, so it's going to be yeah. flattened out as much as you can. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a better idea than you had. There you go, look. There you go, guys. Rolling pin. Voila. Hey, proper right. bush cook. Right. <laughs> Alrighty, that's that's the finished product. Now what we'll do, we'll line it with jam. Mm. It's a good looking jam. It is, eh? Don't use them. No? Yeah, maybe don't use them. Alright, we're well, like half melted anyway. <laughs> they are half melted. <laughs> Alright. Alright, hang on. <laughs> so dramatic. There you go. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Try to roll this stuff, eh? Yeah. Hang on. Let's make it. See what's working? Hold that down, yep. Yeah. Hey, look at that, guys. Nailing it. Oh. It's gonna be insane. Oh. Yeah. Right. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Put a little bit more flour on that. Is 
The file will help it stop from sticking to the pan. Yeah. Just do the underneath. We'll just use that. Can you cover it in the soil? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna be unreal. There you go. Voila. We'll chuck it in the camp oven and see what it tastes. Hopefully the jam's gone right through it, eh? I hope so. I reckon it has. See, that looks good. Yep. Let's have a look at that. What are you doing? Show me it. Yum. That is unreal. You nailed it? That is so good. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, experiment. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's a win. We'll come up with a name of it. <laughs> yeah, we need a name. Cheers. Are you ready for it, Em? I'm so ready. She got the cream. <laughs> got the cream yeah. ready to go. Unreal. Um. So, uh, we're going to give uh, crabbing a go today. We've set a few pots out just up uh, a few of the creeks here at River Heads. So, um, we're going to go check them this morning. Hopefully, get a few and uh, have some uh, mud crab for dinner. So, um, but yeah, had a heap of rain up here at Harvey Bay at the moment. So, um, water's pretty dirty but yeah hopefully get a couple mud crabs something different but yeah let's do it God damn it, five females in a cod. Back they go. Oh yeah, we got one. He's a keeper. Yeah. Oh, look at the meat on him. Beauty. He's coming home. Yo. Oh yeah, another one. <laughs> nice. Also, for, you, for those who don't know, females underneath they're a bit more of a sort of oval sort of peak and these these guys are the males they're just like a triangle so away from this weed bed for sure is see it here's the male look at those claws mate oh. look at the meat on him we got about three three more pots to pull and um, we'll be heading back so um, only one that's, that's number two so far two keepers we're just spending some downtime here in Harvey Bay at the moment just with some family and friends and then in the new year we'll be uh, heading down to SA so pretty keen for that yeah we've been a bit obviously MIA because we have been having some downtime so cheers to those who have reached out to us yeah. send us a message checking in uh, we are still traveling we're still in the van we're just uh, spending some time with family but yeah we've made a few changes here and there to the van so we'll take you through that um, and yeah we've got some pretty epic stuff coming in the new year so um any winery pads. suggestions for yeah. SA hit us up <laughs> but anyway we're just uh, putting the boat in down here at River Heads at the moment gonna head out do some crabbing a bit of fishing and yeah see what we catch have a great new year's and Merry Christmas see ya. bye
luck with our crab pots. Nothing. All the, females. All oh, two. Undersized, 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 undersized anyway. Undersized yeah. Males, yeah. A couple of males, but just too small. So we've got a big storm up here, coming up behind us. Uh, we're just going to wait and see if it passes us. So we'll flick a line. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll head back in. <laughs> but it's like so calm here at the moment. Check that out. Woohoo! Doesn't get better than that though for a lake. It's still day, it's glass. First one to catch a fish, gotta cook Um, We just recently did a first one to catch a fish. The other buys dinner for them. I'm still waiting for my dinner, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh,